So, bike uh, back on the jack. Or up on the jack. And what we're going to do today is sort this brake pedal out. Because, um, as you can see, I've made some modifications to the uh, carburetor, as in where there used to be two under tank twin Makuni carbs. I had this two into one manifold made and stuck a Hitachi carb on the side. And the problem is that it fouls on my leg when my foot's on the foot peg and I kind of have to awkwardly move my foot across to the brake pedal. So I'm going to angle grind that off and I'm going to weld a wider peg on um, just using a piece of steel tube and um, I'm going to make it so it comes out to about there-ish. Yeah, sometimes you just got to get in there and do it. I didn't realise that was hollow though. I'm not going to just weld it straight on top. I'm going to drill a hole into it and it's going to be positioned slightly further over so that that then pokes through and then you've got a bit of metal all the way round which will help with the welding. Um, so I'm just going to get it into position and I'm going to put a tack weld on it just to hold it then i'll take the whole thing off and i'll weld it up in the vise So you can see it's a good snug fit and hopefully I'll be able to get enough welding to the right places to give it a good hold. The um, thing is I'll, I'll test it if it comes apart I can just redo it can't I so you know if I have to cut another bit of tube if I have to go and buy another brake lever assembly then that's what I need to do. But um, what I'm going to do anyway is just kind of hold this roughly in position um, whilst I put a, sort of a, just a tack there. Um, and then I can get the bike off the jack and just have a good look around it and make sure it's, you know, it's in the right position. It, but broadly, it's just got to follow the same um, plain as the foot peg in the sort of the uh, x y axis if you like now i know what you're thinking that's going to catch fire well yes it is but i've taken precautions now i think it's in the right position it's parallel with the peg so yeah the bike's pretty much perfectly upright so I'm happy with that. Well that seemed to take a tack quite well, so and that's the front side. 
all looking pretty burnt up but that's the that's just pretty much the results that you're going to get with this type of welder So yeah, whereas before I would have just had a pad right there, you can see where that's problematic because I've got this side mounted carb on it now. My leg fouls on that carburetor to put my foot on the brake pedal, but of course with the bar replacing it, I'll have no such issue. So far so good. Hell, that went on at a funny angle. I don't know. <laughs> so, just need to take that off, and then the whole thing should slip away. Um, just need to remove this spring and the cable assembly uh, should be able to do that from this end hopefully can't imagine why I wouldn't uh, uh, it doesn't matter what end I take it from does it I suppose but this one looks like it would be the easiest ok stick that on there So this is the uh, brake cable running along here and that's just the return spring for the pedal so that when you take your foot off the brake it just returns back up um, and then just behind there you've got the uh, brake light switch puller which pulls that spring which pulls the switch just out of shot now um, but all those bits are just held onto there onto that little armature with what looks like a circlet behind it. It looks like that to me anyway when I've just got the uh, light behind it but uh, I can't get a camera in there so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop a little screwdriver in there see if I can separate that clip and then that pin should come out and then I should be able to pull away this assembly Yay! <laughs> it's pretty secure to be fair, I'm not sure that particular spot there held. It's on there solid though, so... If you came here looking for welding hints and tips then you really are in the wrong place this channel is just predominantly about me messing around with my bikes in the garage I'm not a welder and if you want welding hints and tips then there are loads of channels out there the issue with this of course is that I'm using a cheap Chinese import flux core arc welder and this probably needs really a gas MIG or even a TIG welder 
And certainly someone knows how to weld. <laughs>
Well, it's um, that is pretty much what the other one looked like before I ground it, cut it and ground it and uh, got it all butting up properly. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and do all of that now. And as I've already done a little piece on that, I won't, I won't show it again. So I'm just going to get this into the sort of state where I just need to weld it onto the pedal. So far so good. Well, that's that piece remade. As you can see, I've just notched it out and I've butted it up. And when you clamp this in the vise, it does butt up really nicely, which will hold it in place when I put a few little spot welds along. But the only problem I've got with this is I've got a very fierce flux core arc welder that's got two settings and I've got no welding skills. And I've got to be very careful because this uh, metal sheet that I've made into this uh, sort of pad, if you like, is only 0.8 mil thick. So I've got to be very careful. Always advisable to do a test piece, isn't it? So I've welded uh, a piece of sheet to an off cut and it tacked on okay. It's a little bit messy, but it's at the bottom. You're not going to see it. And I don't care what it looks like, um, but it's fine. I've ground it all down and wire brushed it all up, and that should be what the overall effect looks like. So I'm quite pleased with the way that's come out. See that? Well, it's a bloody mess, but um, so did this when I first did it, the test piece, so hopefully it will clean up. You can see where it's burnt through a lot of the sheet, but at the same time it's welded the sheet to the tube. And um, this is the very underside, so it doesn't actually matter. And if it comes out anything like this piece, I will be very happy.
So there you have it, one finished brake pedal. Started off with this simple pad on there, which I just ground off and then just welded a piece of mild steel tubing onto it instead and I drilled a hole through the tube and the bar goes all the way up and through and touches the other side and that's just full of weld so it's not going anywhere and then I got some sheet steel folded it round another piece of tube just to get the basic shape ground it into place and then welded it all up at the back so I know it looks terrible it looks really messy those welds are not good but that is solidly attached and I did that partly for decoration and partly for a bit of grip but it's just all mild still so I'm not I'm not going to um, uh, it's going to get a bit of rust on it I'm not going to paint it or anything like that so I'll probably just ACF 50 it possibly I don't want that getting all terribly rusty and it will because it's right down on the ground and it brake pedal near the floor but I'm totally happy with the way it's come out this is obviously mostly what you're going to see uh, and the welds at the back are just going to be hidden away and I don't care because it's a rat bike so anyway I'm going to fit this to the bike and then that is all the major jobs done well, look, all I've done so far is I've just taken the foot peg off its mount in there, the whole assembly. I've attached the spring to the brake switch from the foot pedal and just attached the puller rod. I've put the little pin through that connects the brake pedal with the cable and then the puller rod also goes onto the back of that so that the brake pedal pulls the brake on and pulls the brake switch on at the same time so I just need to get my fingers behind there and there's a little split pin I can't really show you that there's just not enough uh, room I'm just uh, attaching the return spring for the brake pedal itself it's anchored to the frame so all I need to do now is just get that little loop on the end of the brake switch puller over that pin and then stick a little split pin through probably harder than it looks I'd imagine uh, no nope, that was easy right so this is the back of the brake lever that's the end of the brake cable you've got the pin here that goes through and there you've just got the puller for the brake switch and then my little eye hole there where I just need to put a split pin to hold it all together last thing on is the foot peg then what it had on before was uh, this kind of cover did three things Let's just pop that on there it um, just gave a bit of a cover to the foot pedal uh, not strictly necessary it acted as washers for these bolt heads although they're flanged uh, just needed a little bit more and of course a bit of a protection for the 
engine cover, but this really, what I would call peeing in the wind, I don't like it, so I'm not putting it back on. I'm just going to use a couple of regular washes on there, so. Keep an eye, I'll keep an eye on this for strength anyway, but I can't see this is going to cause any problems. Do you know what, I think the washers might be a tiny bit too wide. Well, I just took the edge off this one, so hopefully that'll do. plenty of people out there that will say it's a really bad idea to be honest I'm more self-critical than anything and uh, you know, I know this isn't absolutely the right way to do it to be fair these washers are thinner than the plate that I've taken off so they're at risk of buckling, I guess, if I do it up too tight. But I've got to obviously make sure the peg is on good and tight. But I can keep an eye on that, so that's fine. Well, I do think it looks a lot better than when it just had that pad right there. And it's obviously a lot more accessible for me now, because with a side mounted carb, you can see the way that lines up. Leg fouling on the carb, trying to get to the brake pedal. And that problem's gone now, so quite pleased with that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll catch you on the next one.